سبحان الله والحمد لله ولا إله إلا الله والله أكبر ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم Glory be to Allah, all praise to Allah, there is no God but Allah, Allah is great, all power and might belong to Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Adair listeners and viewers, far and near, you are welcome once more. To another edition of this weekly program on this station, Understanding Islam. Today, we are discussing a new topic, and the topic is entitled Islam is Divine, it is not designed. Islam is Divine, it is not designed. Why am I discussing this particular topic? Common of Davish revealed that so many people are in Islam. But Islam is not in them. I met somebody recently and he disclosed, confessing, that for so many years he was a regular prayer list, going to the mosque as required. But inside himself, like he told me, he knew he was not a Muslim. We don't want a situation where the quantity will be the majority. A Muslim for him or her to remain in Islam, must know his or her onions. This is the essence of this topic that we are discussing. Islam is divine, it is not designed. To prove beyond doubt that Islam is divine, let us imagine the name of Islam. The name Islam has no racial or tribal coloration. We knew that Islam started and blossom from Arab land. If Islam were to be Russia, perhaps it would have been called Arabism. And the prophet of Islam, who brought this religion that we call Islam, was no doubt from the tribe of Quraysh. If Islam were to be tribal, perhaps it would have been called Quraysh. And when you open the pages of the Quran, there is nowhere throughout the length and breadth of the Quran where you will find O oh, Arab. What we will find is Ya Ayuhannas, O oh, mankind. Ya Ayuhalladina Amanu, O oh, you believers. Islam is neither Russia nor tribal. And that particular name, Islam, has nothing to do with group, has nothing to do with a location. And that is one of uh, the lessons that Islam is indeed divine. It is not designed. Islam could not be called a Mohammedanism, even though it came via the instrumentality of a prophet Muhammad. It is not linked to him in terms of name. We have so many places in the Quran where the religion of Islam is called Islam. For example, in Quran chapter 3, verse 19, Allah says their name, in Adina, in the lie al Islam. The only religion that is acceptable to Allah is Islam. And progressively, in Quran chapter 5, verse 3, Allah says, Dani, Ali yo, Akman to Lakun di Nakun, Watman to Alaikun Nemati, Warodi to Lakun Islam di. Meaning, this day have I perfected for your religion, and I have completed my favors on you, and I have chosen for you Islam as a way of life. Islam is divine, it is not designed. Stay along that line. From the beginning, Islam was designed to be a world religion. It is not something that is limited to the Arab land. In the Quran, chapter 21, verse 107, Allah says, Diani, addressing the Prophet of Islam, Wama arzalinaka illa rahmatan alamin. We have not sent you, O Muhammad but as a mercy to the world. And so many things that Muslims do today will prove beyond doubt that Islam is no doubt a world religion. 
For example, fundamental practicalization of uh, the faith of a particular Muslim is done through observance of respective acts of worship at five different times in a day. Technically, that is called a Salat. See the way Salat is patterned. The Muslim acts of worship. The way it is patterned reveal that uh, Islam is indeed and truly a world religion. The language of worship, the content of worship, the timing of worship, all these are the same. Let me raise this as a rhetorical question. Where did Muslims from various parts of the world who now practice the fundamental teachings of Islam, starting from Salah, in the same way? Where did they meet to deliberate and agree without dissenting voices that any time we want to observe a Salah, we want to observe respective five daily acts of worship. This must be the pattern. And there are no dissenting voices. Let a Muslim go to any part of the world today. That particular Muslim finds it easy to mingle and interact with his fellow Muslim compatriot worship-wise. No restriction. Any Muslim can just walk into any mosque anywhere in the world and he is confident that it is the way that he normally observes Salat in his own place of domicile that Salat will also be observable in such a, a place. An Englishman does not have to observe his Salat using English language. Ditto for Yoruba person. Somebody whom I recognize was so passionate about Islam but with limited knowledge about uh, what Islam and this, was once asked me this particular question. Is it not possible for us to change the language of Muslim worship from Arabic to vernacular? And when we talk of vernacular, you know it's elastic. That those of us who are from a, who are from a Yoruba extraction will be observing our prayer in Yoruba language, the Igbos will be observing their own in the language and they also plus some other Respect observing their own worship using their language. And I said, what you are recommending is something that will cause a lot of problem for Islam and the Muslims. The Muslims, for example, the mere fact that we observe our worship using the Arabic language gives us comparative advantage. Many things continue to prove that Islam is indeed divine, it is not designed. Let us imagine the way that we Muslims will practicalize business of worship. By the time we want to worship, the best form of worship for any Muslim is group worship. We are told that when a Muslim observes his salat individually, he has only one reward. But when he takes time to observe the salat, Congregationally, he has 27 reward. There is this book written by George Owen, Animal Farms, and it is said that in Animal Farm, all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than the other. Whereas in the mosque, it is the reverse. All animals are equal, and no animal is more equal than the other. If Islam, is, if Islam were not to be divine, the type of simplicity which render any egocentric person to be humble will not have been part and parcel of the business of worship of the Muslims. In the Quran chapter 4, verse 36, Allah says the Anin, In Allah, la yuhibbu man kana muhtalan fahuro. Allah lost not the boastful and the proud. Simplicity by excellence. When we come to the mosque to worship, behind the Imam who is going to lead the worship. We stand shoulder to shoulder, feet to feet. If Islam were not to be divine, elites, particularly of Nigeria extraction, will have altered the way those of us who are Muslims worship, they will have altered it, at least to incorporate manifestation of a status symbol. At least mostly, they want to prove that they are beyond the ordinary. But when we come to the mosque, 
no chairs nor benches are provided. All animals are equal and no animal is more equal than the other. To prove further that Islam is divine, it is not designed. See the way of Muslim greeting. Assalamu alaikum as a greeting is unlimited to time, is unlimited to space, is unlimited to event. When Muslims from wherever, when they meet each other or one another, the mood of greeting is Assalamu alaikum, that is peace be unto you. And for us to know that when we are talking along the line of Islam being divine and not the sign, see again, Islam is very, very comprehensive. There is nothing which a Muslim needs or requires that is not incorporated in the Quran. In the Quran, chapter 16, verse 89, Allah says there in one Zalina Alay Kal Kitaba, Tibuyan and Likul Lishain, Wahudan Warhamatan, Wabushro, Lil Muslimi. We have revealed to you, O Muhammad, in this Quran, which is an explanation for everything. Anything the Muslim needs, anything the Muslim requires as an entity or as a collectivity are contained in that particular Quran. And to prove again that Islam is divine, it is not a design. The Quran of the Muslim has been in existence for more than 1,438 years ago. And nothing has been added nor subtracted from the Quran. The Quran cannot be edited. And that is the essence of what is contained in the Quran chapter 15. Verse 9, where in Allah says, Inna nahanu nazalina dikra wa inna lahu lahafisun. It is Allah who has revealed the Quran. Even though the Quran has been translated into so many languages today, the Arabic original remains intact. When the Quran is to be translated into any language, be it Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, or any of such other languages, the Arabic version will be on the right hand side. And the language into which it's going to be translated will be on the left hand side. I should add this along the line of Islam being divine and not the sign. The practice of Islam cannot be territorialized. And this is why you cannot find a Muslim living in a particular area for another area for the purpose of observing his worship. Let me use a practical example. In Ibadan here, for example, if somebody is staying in Bodhi area of Ibadan, that particular person, whenever he wants to observe any of the daily acts of worship, that particular person cannot go to Kiado area of Ibadan, which is around the three or four kilometers. Because it is the way worship is observable in a particular place that is also observable in another place. And this is why when you look at the issue of a central mosque, any Muslim can worship in a particular central mosque this week and wherever he finds himself or herself the next week, that is where he worship. Regardless of all the societies we have today, we have Ansaruddin, we have Nawaruddin, we have Nakomyo, we have Nasfat, all these, all the members, all the members who belong to these respective organizations can still mingle and interact together when it comes to business of uh, worship. Are there listeners and watchers far and near? I should remind you again that we, one sponsor for this program, feelers we are receiving, reveal that people are really enjoying this particular program and want the program to remain in continuity on this station. Our phone numbers, contact addresses are displayed on the screen. The next week when I come your way with another edition in the series of Understanding Islam, which has become a weekly program on this station. This is Dr. Dauda Mualaga saying, Wassalamu alaikum. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.